This is Barry from Glowworm Central Heating showing you how to use the Hive app on your phone uh, once you've had it installed by us or by someone else if you're not one of our customers. Um, so you can either use the actual thermostat on the wall or of course you can use this uh, which is what I use in my own home. So generally I don't touch my thermostat, it's just put in the right location and I just use the app on my phone to control it. So if you look down the bottom of the screen, you've got manual or schedule or off. So um, generally you will have it in schedule option. So it's on your setting, your set times that you want it to come on and off that. Um, and then if you look up the top of the screen in the middle, it says control, well, at the top it says control, schedule and actions. So what we want to click on now to set up your schedule is the middle bit middle button which says schedule and then as you can see you've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday across the top and then uh down from there whichever day is highlighted so it's actually friday has got the orange circle around it that means that's the day it's highlighted so uh that's what's going on right now but if i was going to set it up from monday to thursday uh, to saturday or sunday i would click on the monday which is the top top left one um, and uh, then you click on the temperature the first one which is this is the time I want it to come on in the morning so I want it to come on at 6 15 and go off at 8 30 so you can click on that and you got start time you can click on that and just change the start time on there if you want to but I don't and end time click on that and choose your end time and then you choose your temperature of what you want it to be throughout that period and then it will switch off at 8 30 and then throughout 8 30 to 5 o'clock i don't actually want my house in fact that's too high so i don't want my house to drop below let's say 15 degrees so it's basically it's not going to fire the boiler <laughs> okay i'll have noodles um it's not going to fire the boiler um unless it drops below 15 degrees, which isn't really going to happen. So uh, we'll save that. And then what I want to do is copy that day to, which is down the bottom. You see the little black circle with the three dots in it. You click on that and you press copy Monday from Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm getting messages from my wife. Uh, so copy Monday to uh, whichever days you want it. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we want that to come on all week like that, which I'll apply it at the bottom. But then on Saturday, I want a slightly different schedule. So I'll click on that and again, it comes on at 6.45 and it will go off at 11.45 that, that time. And between 11.45 and 1.45, the temperature I want it is the same as as before so 14 degrees I don't want it to drop below that so I'll save that and then in the evenings it will come on well from 1.45 it will be on until 10 o'clock because you know we're in most Saturdays and then if I'm out and about I can switch it off remotely in here uh, I'll copy that day to Sunday so that's my weekend set up as well so that's it it's all scheduled how I want it for the week and you can come back in here and change it anytime um, and then go back to control up the top. So at the moment in my house, it is 15 degrees because it's uh, in an off period. But uh, my wife is actually at home at the moment and I've just switched the heated off for her, I think. So what I'll do is you can just drag the button in the middle like that and turn it up. So I'll now turn the heating on for my wife at home and it's on at 22 degrees. Right, so that's, that's, that's that feature. Uh, if you want to boost your heating at any time, so it's in an off period, like, like now, so it's on 10 degrees, and you want to just switch it on for an hour or something like that, yeah? So you press the boost button at the bottom, choose the duration, so, you know, one hour, and it will come on at this temperature, and, and now it's on. It will be on for an hour, and it will switch itself off. I'm going to stop the boost, though, and just... Uh, Put it back on what it was. Uh, sorry. Right. So, uh, advance 
to see right at the bottom bottom it says advance to five till ten o'clock so that's my next on time so really i know that my wife's going to be in for the rest of the evening so i'm just going to click that and it will just move through to the next on time so it's going to be on until 10 o'clock now at 23 degrees uh, so that's basically how you use it if you ever want to use it in manual mode at the bottom you can just switch it to manual and then basically that is it that's your control in the middle that's up and down if you want to switch it off you turn it right down if you want to switch it on you turn it right up you know to whatever you want but i don't like using it like that um, that's for people who don't really understand scheduling and you can just switch it off as well at the bottom obviously if you want to but i don't want it off so i'll put it back on schedule and up the top you can see um i have to advance it here again so the heating logo or just in this little middle section on the right hand side it's showing a flame so that means it's on uh, if i turn it down to 12 degrees that heating thing will turn off it'll say reached so it's reached 12 degrees so it switched the boiler off but let's put it back up to 22 degrees and that little flame will come on showing that it's heating and the little one on the left is just telling you what temperature it is in my house at the moment uh, and then finally we go up the top to actions so this is a bit more complicated if you have other things like hive activated lights you can do things like that in there and then settings is the very last thing so you can um, go into holiday mode in here and you can just choose your what date you're going away what time when you're coming back and what time and what temperature you want it to be while you're away and then you set it and it will just do that for you automatically all right so that's about it um any pro if your wi-fi is out or something then you won't be able to use this but then you can just refer revert back to using the actual handset in your house so i hope this was helpful